Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you out of the Boise, Idaho area. <clears throat> and today, I'm diagnosing a 2014 uh, Chrysler Town & Country. The, the issue, as I understand it, now I've actually gotten two stories, one from my customer service rep who spoke with the husband, uh, and that's actually my wife. Um, I was in the beginning under the impression that the AC was blowing, it just would take 10 minutes for it to blow cold, uh, or sometimes the AC would just stop blowing cold altogether. So I, I took that as the blower motor, the blower was blowing, the fan was running, it just wasn't blowing cold air. <laughs> However, when it dropped off, uh, the driver, <laughs> the wife, told me that, no, it blows just fine. It's just, or, or that it blows cold air just fine. It's just that sometimes when you get in it and you start it and you turn it on and you turn the fan on, it takes five or ten minutes for the fan to come on and start blowing. Uh, or sometimes you're just driving and it just, boom, it just stops blowing altogether. So... I'm going to go with the complaint that the AC blows cold, it just doesn't always blow. Which tells me that the blower motor is kicking out and dying. And so, how are we going to diagnose that basically? That's the next step. So, going with the complaint that the AC blows uh, and it blows cold, it's just that sometimes when you turn the switch on, it doesn't always come right on. And then sometimes when you're driving, the fan stops blowing, but when the fan does blow, it blows cold. So let's go in and let's look at the blower motor. Let's look at the blower motor resistor and let's look at the AC filter. Now, the AC filter is going to sit behind your glove compartment here and as well as your blower motor and your blower motor resistor is going to be underneath your glove compartment. So you're just going to need a, a little pry bar to get these little clips out. And then you can get underneath there. And your resistor is going to be way up back in there. It's not going to be fun to get to, but you can definitely get, get to it. And then there's your blower motor right there. Now, this vehicle is quite clean, and I really appreciate how clean it is. Trust me, us mechanics, we don't... We don't necessarily like having to crawl in down here when you got a bunch of rotten food and stuff underneath there. So I really appreciate how clean it is. And so it, ultimately it is pretty clean, but at the end of the day, there is a bunch of hidden dust and whatnot. I don't have a light. Here, maybe I can get, get you here. You know, it's just... Dust, see that, see all that white? That's all dust accumulated. There's dust accumulated on that blower motor. And then you get to the air filter here. And you see that air filter, that's pretty clogged up here. Yeah, there you go. All kinds of leaves and junk. So, air filter's clogged up. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. And then I pulled the resistor. Now, sometimes you can see burnouts on a resistor, and sometimes you can't, okay? This resistor, that's all dust. It's just covered in dust and grime and dirt. See? See? Yuck. So that's all dust, dirt, and grime right there. So, after going through the system here, and uh, ultimately, there's no blower motor relay. That's it right there. After going through the system here, if the complaint was at certain speeds, the fan comes on and blows cold, and then at certain speeds, the fan doesn't come on and blow cold, I would consider maybe the AC switch and the resistor and the blower motor but the complaint is that the blower motor, basically, or in other words, it just doesn't blow. It takes five or ten minutes for it to kick on, or it just dies. It just quits blowing, uh, you know, while you're driving and doing stuff. And so, when it does blow, it does blow cold, though. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say there could be a short somewhere in one of the electrical wires or something or the switch that's causing it to intermittently go in and out like that. But nine and a half times out of ten, when you have a complaint that an electronic part like a blower motor and a resistor is intermittently go you know turning off and on and you know going in and out that's pretty much an indication that it is time to replace that electronic part it is intermittently starting to die and work again die and work again and it will eventually completely die and once it does then you have no choice to replace it so i'm going to go ahead and make the call and say that we should replace the blower motor the blower motor resistor and replace the cabin air filter and ultimately go from there after that there's only one other thing left and that's the switch all right and the a as far as the ac compressor again the ac blows cold so we're not looking at freon or anything under the hood that's causing an issue what it is is that it just doesn't blow at all off and on so i'm going to go ahead and say blower motor blower motor resistor new AC filter, get back in and test it. Unfortunately, I can't get it to act up. I've turned it off and on. I've turned uh, the heater off and on, trying to, trying to see if I get it to act up. And ultimately, I can't get it to act up. And I've even gone in here just, a nice wasp flying around my head, just to make sure, and I've watched these actuators and whatnot to make sure it's not a blend door issue I've watched these actuators and all that's working. And, and then, like I said, I had the heater turned off and turned on. And so, again, I don't think it's a switch issue. I don't think it's a blend door issue. I think it's time to replace the cabin air filter, the blower motor resistor, and the blower motor itself. So, so there you go, folks. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot them down to us in the comments. If you have any questions, if you just come across this video and you have a project on your own and you have some questions, shoot them down to us in the comments. I've been known to get a hold of people via email and even trade phone numbers to help you out. And we got a lot of cool members that are part of the community that answer questions as well. So, alrighty, folks. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.